Hi, welcome to my studio. This is Marilyn, and this is the Popsy live show, and really looking forward to spending a few minutes with you guys. And my theme is bringing outside inside, because often, as much as I love to paint outside, and I love to be outside, that's my favorite, favorite thing to do is paint outside on location, Sometimes the weather just isn't the best or or whatever. It's too hot, too cold, too windy, too, and, I, and I've painted in all those circumstances, believe me. And at my age, I'm taking advantage and license to be indoors just a little bit more than I used to be. <laughs> so um, I've got about seven paintings here I wanna show you that I've done uh, in my studio. Actually, a couple of them I've done, two or three of them I've done outside, I think, and this one I did in my studio here. And so I wanna show you, um, this is Leaper's Fork, and I wanna, I wanna have, I wanna focus on um, composition in these paintings and mostly unity and diversity. All good painting has unity in it and diversity in it, sameness and differentness. And so, there is unity and diversity in color. Let me give you a close-up of this right here. You can see it. Uh, and the unity and diversity in color would be, the diversity would be color in complementary colors, which is which I love, which is the red, it's the green, and, um, and then the sameness, the unity in color would be would be the values being the same, warm and cool, but it would be this, it would be, um, yes, we have, we have some unity right in here with the value, the temperatures change, but the value is the same. And then you have the contrast in the value in the dark and light here. So uh, in the center of interest, obviously is the star of the show right here, but I want to show you how I did this. I, I took a picture, many, many pictures, actually, they were there not, about three weeks ago. We were there and I took uh, took a bunch of pictures. I focused in on this one because I like the red. And the lighting is different here, obviously. You see that? So uh, oftentimes I have to make up the light if it's not there. And I've painted enough outside to know kind of how light is handled. So that creates the contrast. And I love the, the diversity with the contrast, with the complementary and the value. Um, so, and then because this is such a horizontal composition, I added the vertical in just to break it up. So, um, so anyway, that, that was really, really a fun painting to do. It's an eight by 16. So my second painting, and my husband here is helping me, Mr. Donnie George. Hi. <laughs> and this, here, I'll just hold it up here. This is a still life. So that's plain air inside as well. That's painting from life. That's the most important thing from you, you artists that are beginning is painting from life outside or inside. Inside, obviously, your life is setting up your own still life. And um, let me show you a picture of the still life. It's here. So I took a little license in the lighting there too. The lighting is flat. Actually, I don't even have a light on it again. So it's very flat. I just made it up. So. We have unity and, and value here. So we have the same value, different temperature back here. We have the contrast, diversity in value in the lights and darks here in the center of interest. And you could say this is probably a circle composition. But I love this. Um, I love the contrast because that just creates drama to me in a painting. If, and I love tone on tone paintings as well, but I love the, the darks and the lights to have the contrast, which creates more drama in a painting, I enjoy that. So that's that one, this is a heavy frame. And this little guy, I'll hold this one up here. This one I did on location. It's a 12 by 12. Um, and it, it's just, I did it just from, my husband and I were just driving around and I just said, oh, let's pull over to this place. It looks awesome, it's a little town. And the name of this little town, was Woodville, right? And just so you see a picture of me painting outside, there I am painting that painting outside. <laughs> so, and this is uh, unity and diversity with shapes. So the unity in shapes is pattern. I love pattern. 
with the fence pattern on the side of the house right there. Um, anyway, I love this with the color and the lighting. Uh, and the shapes vary, of course, whenever you... I, I exaggerate what I love in a painting. If I, if I see one or two uh, flowers, I'll, I'll make it a whole bush if I have to. But anyway, I like to exaggerate that. Exaggerate in the color, exaggerate in the value. You got the darkest and lightest right here and up here. So your eye, again, it's kind of moves your, moves your eye around. And that's it, like I said, that's a 12 by 12. Okay, let's see, we have one more here. Got that. And then this is a little Hampton Co. painting I did on location right here in our backyard, actually. We have a wonderful lake out here. And um, again, it's got the contrast in the color, the um, complementary colors with the red and the green. And edges, soft edges and hard edges are another university, unity and diversity. So I have soft edges in areas of rest and you have hard edges and you're most contrasting your center of interest. So that's, edges are very important. When you eye, want your eye to go to something, you make it a hard edge. You want your eye to rest somewhere, you make it a soft edge. So that's, that's that guy. That's an eight by 16. Okay, now this, this one here, right here, I'll hold it up. Let me hold it up here so you get a good look at it. That one I did on location, that's just outside of Blowing Rock up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty up there. And love it up there. Um, and this is, this is Unity and Diversity with Line. I wanna show you something about line. Objective lines are lines that go all throughout a painting, like right, right along here, right along here. You've got your verticals here, and then and objective lines should always be broken up, not going continuously along, so your eye doesn't, if it doesn't get broken up, your eye will go right along that line and go right off the, the format of your painting. So anyway, and that's um, Blue Ridge Mountains. I have, I think I have a time lapse of this area. Anyway, I did another time lapse there. So that's, that's a nine by 12. Yeah. Yes. And this guy, this is also Leaper's Fork. I did that in the studio from a photo I took that same that same day I went out there a couple of weeks ago. And um, let's see, here's this photo of that one. So usually when I do a photo, when I paint from photos in the studio, I'll paint for more than one photo. And oftentimes I'll pick one photo for the foreground, one photo for the background, or maybe one photo ha might have a good uh, shadow shape on it. So that is uh, just a little sketch, and I, and I left I left a lot of holidays in the sky because I kind of like the sky very warm because it was a very hot day, so it makes it feel a little hot like it gets. So that's I just kind of liked it that way. And that's, like I say, that's Leaper's Fork. Okay. And now we have Charleston. This is from our trip in, in Charleston. Um, did that right on location. And that was just such a fun time to be with y'all in Charleston. What a neat town that is. And again, you've got, you've got a lot of verticals, but you, you've got to break it up with awnings, with whatever is there. If it's not there, make, you can move it. That's one thing about an artist is you can move mountains. <laughs> um, but so yeah, there's contrast down here. You've got your lights, you've got your detail in here and light in here too. So that was a real fun place. And then I have, that's all, oh, that's it. Oh, okay. oh I, there's one more thing I wanted to show, yes. This, this is, um, this is another little one I did. This was in Italy, this, I've had this for a while, but it's just a fun little painting, a little nine by 12. But I also wanted to show you the boards I use, um, when I, this is the tint I put on my canvases before I paint, which is uh, burnt sienna and yellow ochre mixed together. Makes for a nice, just because I don't like painting on white, just me personal, because I like a middle value. So at least I'm, I have um, this middle value to compare all my notes to, all my colors to. 
So I think that's it. And all, all the information on these paintings will be posted on my webpage and, and um, that will be, you can get my, my email address, my webpage, and you can also sign up for my newsletter if you want. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much.